today, we're going to talk about the effects of dating a narcissistic woman. The effects are fucking draining. I dated a narcissist. She claimed she didn't know she was narcissistic. I had to look up all the symptoms for myself. And she matched every one. That's how I knew that she was a narcissist. The first thing that you need to know about dating somebody that's a narcissist, a woman, is that after the honeymoon period, which is the first three to six months, um, you know, she's fucking your brains out. Uh, you get all the blowjobs that you could possibly imagine every way. You know, and it's like you're living in your own porn movie. You know, you're 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 living in your own porn movie when you're dealing with a narcissist woman for three to six months. So if you're a man who enjoys sex or a sex addict, or just a freak dude, this woman is gonna be so appealing to you until you are not gonna wanna, you are not gonna know what to do without her. You are gonna become addicted to her. After the honeymoon period is up, which like I said, takes about three to six months, uh, things start to take a downturn but you won't notice because the first episodes are based on legitimate fuck ups you legitimately fucked up you were late picking her up or you didn't compliment her and your compliments haven't been as high, the number of compliments, we'll say, haven't been as high for her as they once were, which, you know, could be a lie. But because you're blinded by pussy and head, It's hard for you to tell. When things start to take a downturn, if you're a good man, which narcissistic women only go for good men. They're like a cruise missile for a good man. That's who they're looking for. They're not looking for no loser ass nigga. They're not looking for no nigga that take care of them. They're not looking for no man that's sorry they're looking for. A good man. They're not looking for no nigga that stay with somebody. They're looking for a nigga that take care of himself. They're looking for a dude that can handle his business. They're looking for what all women are looking for, except they know how to actually go about getting it. Take it from me. Women could take some classes from a narcissistic bitch because she knows how to get her man. If she can have a conversation with you, that conversation is gonna be interesting and it's gonna lead somewhere because she is trying to get as much information about your ass as possible. So she can use it to sew your ass up. So you guys are gonna have plenty to talk about because for you, It's, she's she's going to stroke your ego the whole time if you don't know what's going on. For her, it's going to be a learning experience every time she talks to you. And if you've dated 
most women, most women, they have lame conversation. You know, like their conversation is lame. You got to control the conversation. 80% of women have lame conversation. Okay. Not a narcissistic woman. Her conversation is on point. She knows about sports. She knows about cars. She knows about uh, 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 what no good women do except herself. She's going to tell you about how she takes care of her house. If she has children, she's going to tell you about how she takes care of her children. It's all going to be hella appealing because it's a trap. Now, I'm not saying that only narcissistic women know how to speak to a man. There are some women out there who, who they got some game and they got that game for the man that they, that they want. And they'll treat that man well if he's lucky. You know what I'm saying? If he's a if he's a gold lucky brother or, you know, whatever he is. It's women out there that got game for him. A narcissistic woman got that game times 10. Because you are her mule. You're going to be her pack mule. Before it's all said and done, you're going to be carrying all the weight of the entire relationship. You're going to be carrying every responsibility. Everything is going to be your fault. Even if she fucked up, it's going to be because she fucking with you. If she wasn't fucking with you, she would have never fucked up. It's going to be a task. Like a motherfucker. These are the first signs that you're dealing with a narcissistic woman. She's going to go from, in the beginning, you know, those three to six months, to not doubting your manhood at all. Your manhood is going to be intact to her. Oh my God, you are just such a good man. To the first time you fuck up, there's going to be a cloud of doubt over your head from that day forward. It don't matter. Don't really fuck up. Don't really like just really make a mistake. There's going to be a cloud of doubt over your head from that day forward. There will be no forgiveness. After you fuck up, there'll only be toleration. She's tolerating you after you fucked up. Because she never forgave you for how you fucked up. She's only tolerating you. At this point, the toleration, she could be looking for somebody else to fuck with. If you if you got some good dick and you was fucking her right. It might slow that process down because she's going to be thinking like, okay, well, you know, he got that dick that I like and I'm not going to give this nigga my phone number that I work with just yet, but I'm going to flirt with him and keep him interested in me because I'm going to see if this motherfucker can fix the way I feel. That's what they're going to be waiting on after you fuck up and you in a relationship with a narcissistic woman. They're going to keep you around to see if you can change the way they feel. But the only way that the way they feel can be changed is if they forgive you for the mistake you made. Now, if you ain't the sharpest brother or... You know, your dollars ain't that long, but they, you know, was long enough to get you in a relationship with a narcissist. That means that you're going to have some limits. You're going to have some limits. You're not going to be able to do everything that everybody else is doing. You're not going to be able to do everything all the time. In the beginning, she'll act like she can tolerate that. 
But in the back of her mind, she's expecting you to do better because you got her in your life. If you're making 60,000, 80,000 a year, that's not enough money for her. How come you're not trying to make more money? Oh, you don't love me enough because if you loved me, you would try to do more. Bullshit. If she loved you, she would be more forgiving and accepting. But because you're dating a narcissistic woman and you've made a mistake or there or there has just been a misunderstanding. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. From that misunderstanding or that mistake, now she's tolerating you. You know, she's not uh, 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 not necessarily sure that you guys have a future, but she's not going to tell you that because she's optimistic. You got her attention the first time. Now let's see if you can fix this. But guess what, fellas? Fixing a problem in a relationship takes both of you guys. It doesn't just take you. It takes her to forgive you and you to correct the mistake. If you correct the mistake, but she still never forgave you, she still has all of these feelings that are still not correct. She still feels like you're an idiot, even though you fixed the problem. But what you didn't fix was the way she feels. She feels like you're a fucking idiot. So now, so now, because she feels like you're a fucking idiot, you're under the microscope. Everything you do is subject to scrutiny. This is when you're dealing with a narcissistic woman. A woman that loves you does not want to lose you. She's not looking for a way out. She's looking for a way to stay in the relationship. That's how you know your woman loves you. She's not looking for a way out. She's not letting you know that other men are interested in her and she could be over here doing this. A woman that loves you will never tell you about what another man is interested in with her. A narcissist woman, once you guys reach that tolerating stage, she will always let you know, oh, well, this guy, he tried to talk to me today. Or it's this dude at my job. Um, he feeling me. You know, he be wanting me to do. That's what narcissistic women do. Because everything is a transaction with them. It's not necessarily a connection. A woman that's truly connected with you won't want to screw up that connection. She won't want to lose you. So she knows who you are. That's why she's in love with you. She knows the way you are as a man because she loves you. That's why she loves you because she knows the way you are as a man. A narcissistic woman knows the way you are as a man, but you're always disposable. You were disposable. When you're not disposable is the first three to six months when you're not disposable. If you want to keep a narcissistic woman in your life, don't tell her everything. Don't let her know everything about you. If you tell her everything about you, that's your ass, Mr. Postman. She's going to take that information and try to use it against you. These are the signs that you're dealing with a narcissistic woman. She is going to fuck your brains out constantly for weeks and weeks and weeks. The first, uh, you know, three to six months, it's going to be pussy all the time. However you want it. It's going to be all that sex, whatever you want. Oh, you want to put it in my butt? It's going to be all of that. Okay. But it's only to get you hooked. The only brothers that's safe is brothers that... Sex ain't a big deal to them. 
those are the only brothers that's safe from a narcissistic woman. Maybe they're narcissistic a little bit themselves. But those are the only brothers that's safe. Whatever you lacking, whatever you did not receive from your last relationship, the narcissistic woman is looking to give you that and use it as a uh, weapon against you. It's called a hook. She's going to use that as a hook. If you never had a woman cooking for you, taking care of you, and you let her know that, she knows what she has to do to hook you. If you never had a woman give you the best blowjob ever or give you sex until you just couldn't move no more, she is going to be that woman that does all of that. Whatever you're lacking, she is going to try to give to you. But it's a transaction. She's going to try to give you that because sooner or later, she's going to want absolute power. Total reign over your life. And you know what you're going to get in return for giving her total reign over your power? Not a motherfucking thing. All that pussy and head and sex that you was getting, somebody else might be getting that. The next dude, because she's getting what she wants. She's getting worship. If you worship her and she's getting everything she wants, she's getting sex, she's getting, uh, uh, you know, I mean, not sex, but she's getting your money. She's getting your time. She's controlling the situation. If she's getting everything that she wants from you, why would she give you anything after that? Guess what she's going to do once she's getting everything from you? She's going to look for a secondary, a toy, somebody else that can make her feel good about herself without you. So now she got you sold up on the line looking stupid, doing everything for her and ain't getting shit in return. That's giving her the confidence to go out and find her a secondary. A secondary is another man that admires her. Now, depending on how good looking most narcissistic women are hella fine, depending on how good looking that man is, he could be getting the pussy while you ain't. Some narcissistic uh, women, they don't want to give up the pussy all the time. Because the pussy is uh, it's a tool. It's something that they can use um, to get what they want. So it's valuable to them in that sense. But if that man, say, you know, you're not in shape. Like me, I'm not in shape. You know, like I'm working on it. I'm going to be in shape. Trust me. You'll see me in my other videos. I'm going to be in shape. If... If that man is in shape, he has abs, he looks good, he's fine, and he's giving her the same attention that you're giving her, be prepared to get discarded. 